I'm Atuba George and I bless God for this opportunity to bring God's truth to you. Are you ready? Can we call for our daily bread today? Listen, that which is written in heaven for you today, you will receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. So are you ready? Say with me, say, Father, today I demand and I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, praise God. Expect a miracle today. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Burdens are being lifted right now and yokes being destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the teaching of your truth. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Man. Praise God. Now, we've been talking about yesterday, we, we began to look specifically about faith. What is faith? Because the Lord said, earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered. Now, we have to understand what faith is all about. So, I'm, I'm taking you through this series again. So, now he says, Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not Sin. And I told you yesterday, faith must have substance. Now, I give example about having faith in your job or in your ability, then also having faith in your relationship with someone as against having faith in God. In all these, there must be substance. If there is no substance, then they, they, you're just hoping. And when you hope for too long without adding substance to it, it becomes wishful thinking because it will produce no result. But faith must go, hope must go beyond normal hope into the place of substance. And that is where your hope begins to get stuff. See? So we're looking at this and, and it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I told you yesterday, now whatever you are hoping for, maybe healing in your body, um, kind, specific kind of favor in, in an environment, you, you want to get admission into school, you, you want to get, think about it. What is it, just what is it you're hoping for? Hey, you've got to have substance added to that hope that is when you can say you have faith faith is the substance so now you know someone you maybe you're sick in the body and like like lord i want to be healed and i i, I want i want to be healed by faith now you are hoping to be healed yes but where is your substance where is your substance? Okay. So how do I go about the substance? Then I'll tell you. He said, you know, you know, we were looking at this on you know, one time. He said, Isaiah actually said, and Peter repeated this, says, he himself took our infirmity and carried our sorrows. And he goes on further to say, by his stripes, we we are healed that's what peter said isaiah spoke and said he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed now those words spoken by isaiah repeated by peter those words when you believe them they become the substance of what you are hoping for, the healing you are hoping for. But you see, what makes your substance powerful is the integrity of it. 
I want to say that again. What makes your substance powerful is the integrity of it. Now, this is the reason why you have what Jesus said, little faith. Why you have strong faith or why you have weak faith. I thought faith was faith. Why is there? Yeah, I used to think that way also. Yeah. So, what is weak faith? It's simple. Your substance is weak. What is little faith? Your substance is little. Someone says, I gave an example yesterday. I want a car. You know, I keep using this. Receive your car in the name of Jesus. I, I believe someone is about to get a new car. Because cause, cause it's just coming to my mind. Now listen. Someone says, okay, I want a car. And what is his substance that he's hoping to get a car? What is his substance? Yeah, where I'm walking, I'm trusting that they will increase my pay. When they increase my pay, um, at least I can now get it get it i'm just praying that this month a miracle should happen they will increase my pay you know now he begins to talk like that already is telling you that his faith his substance is not strong enough his substance is weak now the same thing in god when you have faith in god you know jesus said if you have faith as small as a mustard, mustard seed. You can say to this mountain, be down now. He, he said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, then how come he, he will now still talk about weak faith or little faith? But, but little faith can do <laughs> the job. No, no, no. You see, he said, if your faith is as small as a mustard seed, now that's just in size. But the truth about the mustard seed is it is sure. You can see it. This is it. This is this is it. Praise God. This is the mustard seed. This is it. Now, it's small, but it's sure. But now, when your faith is weak, it means your substance of what you are hoping for, that substance, it's not strong. The conviction of that substance is not powerful enough. How? Okay, so yes, Isaiah said it, by his stripes we are healed. Peter said it, by whose stripes you, you were healed. Yes, uh, but um, I've seen men of God fall sick and even die in their sickness. So, ah, God help our unbelief. Weak faith. Weak substance. So you find yourself, and you know what I'm talking about. You find yourself saying, this is my faith. But then you find yourself also saying, but you know, your faith is weak. Your substance is weak. Your evidence is weak. See? You know, you go to court and... and you put all your facts together. And then the lawyer looks at you and says, whoa! I mean, you, you, you have this document? Say, I have the go. Oh, wow, we have a strong case. We, we have a strong case. With that defense or prosecution, we have a strong case. Ah, with this, with this, we will knock them out. Now, what's he saying? The evidence you have is strong. So, if the evidence you have is weak, and then you go, ah, wow. Let's, let's just pray that the judge will not throw this out. Or let's just pray that their lawyer will ignore this. He, he won't hammer on this. If he doesn't hammer on this, they will make a strong case on this. But Kai, if he hammers on this, this, this becomes weak. You have a weak case. You have a case quite right, but it's weak. It is now dependent on something else. But listen, when, so, so when you come and say, oh, the Bible said, the Bible said, I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, it's amazing, but this is the truth. All this, you know, when you say, the Bible said, the Bible said, it's not strong enough. It can actually go for weak faith. Your substance is weak. 
If all you are saying is the Bible said, the Bible said, it is weak. You remember those seven sons of Sceva? They, they went to cast out demons. And guess what? They said, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, come out from him. And then those demons said, hey, 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 hold on. Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. Who are you? And then they, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. And the Bible said the devils beat them up, stripped them of their clothes and threw them out of the place. Why? Because they had no substance. They wanted to cast out demons like they see other people cast out demons. And they went and said, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, come out. They themselves don't know the name of Jesus for themselves. So they have seen Paul cast out devils and Paul said, come out in the name of Jesus. And those demons came out of them. So like, whoa, we'll go do the same thing. In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. And the devil said, <laughs> You, you've got weak substance, praise God. Because <laughs> that's what it does. They, they had weak substance. Now, you remember Jesus also when, when he was being tempted on that mount of temptation. When he was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. You know? And then Satan came to him. The devil came to him. I said, if you are the son of God, command these stones to be made bread. And Jesus said to him, hey, now what? Why? Because it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil said, okay, no problem. You can read this for yourself in the book of Matthew. Okay, no problem. And the Bible says, the devil took him to a, a, a high pinnacle and told him, hey, you know if you jump down, you won't die because it is written. He has given his angels charge over you. They will keep you in all your ways. And, and Jesus said, ah, it is written. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. And they said, hmm, all right, good. And then the Bible said he showed him, that, that Satan now, showed Jesus all the kingdoms of this world in a moment of time. And then he told him, all these I will give to you if you will bow down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, Hey devil, it has been said to me, Thou shalt worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And the Bible says Satan left him. Now, you, 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 you don't understand. When you look at this, you know, you're just like, okay, you know, after, after three temptations. No, no, Satan didn't just leave him after three temptations. Satan left Jesus because of what Jesus said. What did Jesus say? The first time Jesus said, it is written. The next time Jesus said, it is written. The third time he said, it has been said to me. Now, when Jesus said that, what was he saying? He was establishing a perfect relationship between him and the speaker. He told me, that's what Jesus said, he told me this. Now, when Jesus brought that one out, <laughs> that was his strong evidence that he was in perfect relationship with God. Jesus had substance. He's got, he had evidence. See, you know, Satan came to check him out. And he said, are you the son of God? Are you really, really the son of God? That's what Satan was after. Okay, if you're the son of God, do this. It is written, ah, ah, I know you, I know your type. I know your type. You want to use scriptures, we'll use scriptures. Hey, come. Come jump down from here. It is written. Let's argue scriptures now. That's what I'm Let's argue scriptures. It is written. And Jesus said, no, it is written. <laughs> okay. Two points now. All right. Come. Let me tempt you with this. Forget all those things that is written. I'll show you all these kingdoms. Bow down and worship me. And Jesus said, eh, the Lord told 
me. Now, now you find believers who are shy to say things like this. You don't realize that that is your strong faith. The things that the Lord have said to you. I'm not talking about the things that you read. No, no, no. You may have read stuff. You know, we, we start out from here. So you begin to read the Bible and begin to read the Bible. But hear me, hear me. Reading the Bible doesn't give you faith. It creates hope in you. Yeah, that's what the scripture says. It says all things, all these things we are written for our learning so that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, will have hope. Hope, not faith. And our time is up. Praise God. I'll continue from here tomorrow. I hope you're learning something from this. Father, thank you. Your word is making sense in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.